Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn how can we create a depth section and Gutenberg editor. First of all, you have to install and activate this plugins and that plugins is called Advanced Tab Gutenberg Block. Once you have finished your installation and activation, you have to go to the editor. You can see I have created a new page and in my editor, if I click this plus icon, to expand the blocks, you will find a new category called depth block and under this category you will get a custom block that is called this this tab block. So simply click on this icon to add this tabs area editor panel. So I'm going to click on this. Once you click on this, you will find this is the initial stage of this block. You can see it is giving a by default a single tab item and it is giving a button so that I can add many tab items as per my need. So we're going to select this pattern items and if we select this pattern item, you can also select this from here like this one and you will get three tabs with a different settings. First one is the general settings, second one is the colors and third one is the advanced setting and under these tabs like this is all settings you will get some panels you can see there are panels for the container and separator and depth levels and depth content and each panel has their own settings area similarly for this the color section I mean this color tab you will find some corresponding panels so like container, uh, separator, tabs, levels, tabs, content and active tab styling. And you said this advanced area will find to set up the Z index value and under this area you will get some more advanced options. So let us first add our first uh, tab content like i want to give the title or the level of our first tab items like our team i want to write some dummy text you can add any text inside this tab content even you can add any uh, blocks from your own gutenberg editor suppose you want to add a heading tag you can simply press your forward slash and then you will get the wall blocks and you can simply add the heading and you can type your heading tag. I want to simply uh, keep uh, just, I want to keep on this paragraph text right now. So I have uh, copied some dummy text from this learning function. You can see, you can also uh, style this text as per you need. You can duplicate this existing items or you can click on this button to add a new one. So like our teams, our mission. So I want to add uh, some dummy text from here. And I want to add this uh, second paragraph from this area. I need to copy and paste it. So right now I am keeping this only two types of items. And you can also customize all of this as per you need. I am keeping all of this uh, by default value. And if I publish or update and go back to this front end, yes, you can see this is a result. And right now, you can see our teams and our missions. So if we want to change this color, like I want to change the active tab color, so you can simply go to this uh, colors and active colors. As you can see the active color, we can change the color from here. I can to make it this white color and change the background color like this color. I am using the plugins uh, custom palette. You can change it and use your own theme color palette. If you turn off this, then you will get the different color palette that is coming from your theme. So right now I am using the plugins color palette like this one. And if you refresh and update and go to this front end, you will see this is our active color. This means active tab color. And it is working fine. We can also style it like if you want to change the border or you can add some border radius. Like go to this content, I want to change the border. 
radius like and case the border radius like this 5 pixel you can also add the border radius separately or you can keep it in this length I want to change the box shadow a little box shadow like this one and I need to change this in the background color sorry this border color from here you can see this is a border color I want to pick this color like this one or make it a bit lighter like this and if I refresh and see the result of this front end I will see yes it is our work and it is working fine we can also align these items I will get the most information like this one we can make it a center or we can make it just if I were right like if you say make it center and it is now center we can also change the separator color like if you go to the separator and change the separator style ever height or you can also hide it this one so i want to simply change the separator color from here and i use a lighter color like this one or something like this simple light and if i refresh this i will see the result yes it is looking something like this i think you have understood how to use and customize your devs items and easily you can use this one if you have any questions you can report or, or knock at support for health thank you